what's up guys? It is Deltre, we are back with some more Final Fantasy Tactics 1.3. Last time we kicked off Chapter 4 with a bang. Squad of Death Knights and an Assassin, man. Hopefully nothing like that today. I honestly don't remember too much about this next fight because this is about as far as I made it on my first attempt to play this game for this channel all of those years ago. So it's it's basically just gonna be me going off really faint memories from this point on. Honestly, I would expect to lose each fight from here till the end of the game at least one time, even if you're playing it for yourself, because like, man. So I said in the last part, I didn't think that the beginning of Act 4 is as bad as the end of Act 3, and I definitely don't. But the thing of it is, right, a lot of these fights require really specific setups. Nothing that's super demanding or anything, you know, you would probably have what you need just by playing normally. Uh, in my case, I certainly hope that I do, I'll say that. But... Actually figuring out what you need and where you need to be and when you need to be there and all that stuff, it takes some trial and error, honestly. Mostly because you can't see the damn fight before you actually get into it. If I already knew who was where and what was what, this would be a lot easier, but... Alas, that is not how Tactics is designed. Not really a whole lot has changed with our team, though. I just have a little bit more HP going into this next fight than previously because I know that there's lots of archers on this map. Lots and lots of archers, and... They have the best bows in the game, naturally, so we need to be able to at least survive them. So I'm thinking that with, like, Earth Clothes and Damage Split, that should keep somebody like Regina safe. Estelle's got enough HP, I hope. If not, I can honestly take the Wizard Robe off and just give her armor, like, proper armor, because she can use that as a samurai. So that's good. And I also have MCP here with really low HP intentionally, and Arrow Guard. Just to try and draw a lot of the archers away. Uh, and he also has the Angel Ring as well, which gives him re-raise. For one, uh, for one life, basically, so it's essentially a mulligan. If he happens to get hit through that 72% arrow guard, then he can still just come back and try again, basically. Or at least that's my plan. With him having the lowest HP, he should definitely be the target, though. And I also have Yurchel with Steel. Yeah, we have Yurchel with Steel. And that is going to hopefully allow us to grab some good crap on this next map. I hope. I, I pray. Jeez, man. This one... <laughs> this girl's pretty crazy, from what I remember. I don't know. I guess we're gonna have to see. It is a defeat the boss. Thank God. Thank God. But she's much harder to take down than some of the guys we've been seeing. Okay, so we want to try something like this. My G is gonna start where he starts, I'm pretty sure. But we'll put Regina... Not Regina. We'll put Estelle and Yurchel over here. On this side. And I think we should be behind the house. I, I know there's like a building right off the bat. And you can hide behind it. Doesn't really help you against the archers, actually, believe it or not, because they are so good at doing those sweet trick shots, baby. But... It'll at least break line of sight with anything else. Maybe there's some gunners or something. I don't know. I'm merely a duel. I came to avenge my brother. Avenge your brother? What are you talking about? You're denying it. Islud, whom you killed at Riavanis, was my brother. Yes, that's right. You defeated him in combat and then crushed his skull with your bare hands. Uh, are you hearing yourself right now? I'm going to kill you. Not for the High Priest, but for my brother. <sighs> Alright, here's Meliodul. Now, my biggest fear with this fight is that Meliodul has abilities that allow her to break your crap and deal a ton of damage to you at the same time. Neither of those things are very good. However, she doesn't have maintenance. So probably what's going to happen here is I'm going to try to steal her sword. <laughs> Which is why I brought Yurtle to begin with. She has defend, so either she has some kind of sword that's giving it to her, maybe she has a defender, or she has, like, a perfume or something. Good dodge there, buddy. Appreciate that. Yeah, so there's ninjas, and they can get around arrow guard easily just by throwing. Randolph. 168. So he actually one-shots us, which is good, in theory. Of course, if he actually connects, that would be bad. That would definitely be bad if he hit, but he didn't, so... We may be looking pretty good. Why are you going to go for Regina? Leave her alone. Oh, my lord. And no damage split. Oh, god. Oh, god. Send help. She's going to die now, I'm pretty sure. Because of that. Yeah, nice one there, RNG. Appreciate that. I really do. <sighs> yeah, pretty sure with damage split, she would have lived. Which was the whole reasoning behind me giving her a bunch of plus HP stuff. But sometimes the game just has different plans, man. Uh, my G can head back here, I guess. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna push right because it looks like that's where Meliodul is going. I'm gonna revive Regina because I definitely want her alive. We can attempt to frog one of those archer ladies. 
which I think is exactly what we're gonna do, honestly. And we're gonna run like hell to this side of the map and pull them this way, in theory. Yours will just hang out, hit, catch the haste train, buddy. Yeah, if we get him on haste, that would be really good. And ideally, man, ideally damage still would have went off, huh? I'll go for a Kiyomori right here because we can get protects on lots of our team, in theory. Regina's gonna die no matter what happens next. I really would have preferred protect on Yurchul. That's the thing with the draw skills. Some of them are random like that, so there's not really anything we can do about that. It's just bad luck, honestly. Just bad luck, sadly. Now, your faith is what? No. Yeah, you. Leo is 72. That's actually pretty good faith. Meaning, you might be susceptible to a good frog here. Yeah, and we're neutral, so that's like a 60-ish, I want to say. Something like that. Roughly. So we'll move in. I actually didn't have to get this close, did I? No, I didn't. And only 33 on you, but I mean, it's not impossible. Certainly not impossible. Your jolt coming on through. We're going to try to steal something off her. I'm going to say the sword. What does Milia Duel have anyway? So she has Mighty Sword, and that's the ability that I was talking about that allows her to break all of your crap easily. Easily. She can break every single item, so like weapons, helmets, accessories. It doesn't matter. If you don't have maintenance, she can destroy you, basically. Oh, I guess maintenance would actually help counter Melia Duel, huh? I didn't really think about that. Yeah, maybe there's something to think about there. She has a lot of magic for somebody with no magic abilities. And she has the Salty Rage. Spends a lot of time on internet forums, and she is pissed, but it's actually giving her Protect and Shell. So I actually want to steal that because we don't have one, and it's pretty good. It can only be used by girls, but we have two of them that would definitely appreciate having that accessory from time to time, I'll tell you that. And I'm pretty sure it's always, right? Like, it doesn't go away. Yeah, it's always protected shell, no matter what. And it would stack with defense up. So that's an insane accessory, honestly. Let's go for a 51. We miss. Fair enough. It was a coin flip. What can I say? This frog, though. If we can hit that ninja, that'd be great. If we hit the uh, Ari man, that'd be better. That'd be even better. We actually do land the 33. Can we hit them both? No. Although, I actually don't think the Ari Man can do anything to me at this point. Or, what, whatever he is. He might be like a plague or something. I forget what the tiers are for those guys, but... Bottom line, he's harmless now. Please shoot my barn. And not Regina. <sighs> I don't even know why I buy these reaction commands, man. I really don't. Randolph, shoot my barn. You can one-shot him. I know you want to. Yeah. <laughs> As long as we get HP restored, we're fine. Okay, cool. Well, I say that. Melia Duel may honestly well and truly be able to just one-shot him. Which would uh, not be very good, to say the least. Shoot my bard. I know you want to. No, th oh, that's so bad. He's going to die because that guy has really bad compatibility with me. There goes Yurcho, probably. No, it looks like she's going for something else. Crush Punch, too. Ah, yes. She actually has a new ability, which is just essentially an AoE Crush Punch. That's all it is. Nothing else special about that. But honestly, that in itself is dangerous enough. You know, I'm honestly thinking that... Nice, nice. I'm thinking that Yurchel might want an Angel Ring as well, because he's in a fairly precarious position and is very susceptible to dying. So him having an Angel Ring would help out on that front. Mm, let's see here. Oh, my G can definitely pick up Regina. I don't know if it's worth it, though. She's kind of slow here. I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. But I will definitely go for Mirosame on Yurjul. Just for the sake of getting him out of one-shot range. Yeah, I'm healing Melia Duel, but so what? She has taken no damage yet. And I can also attempt to steal from her from behind at this point, which is exactly what we want, honestly. Yeah, because if I can steal from behind... Oh, yeah, moving Regina. I moved Regina a little bit too far. Just a little bit too far. What does this girl have, anyways? A Tonberry knife and an air knife. Jesus Christ. She's so scary. In fairness, I actually don't think these two do a whole lot of damage. She only has seven strength, so... It's not that much, honestly, but... She can just run up on Regina at that point, so unless I full life her, there's no point. Well, I can get Protect on my last two dudes. I guess we can do that right now. But throw a protector right there. We hit a stale, we hit. Yeah, we hit a stale and we hit Yurchel. I'm gonna go for last song. I definitely think that this is our way. 
You're just looking to come up here, catch the protect, also blocks melee duel, which is great. And now we should actually be able to take your sword. Probably. 68% of the time. Come on. There we go. So now she just lost a huge amount of her threat. She just became so, so much weaker. She can't use any of her sword skills without that. Same as every other sword skiller. Catch protect on these two as well. And now they're fairly well protected, I want to say. Galio is basically done for. I'd like to get Regina in on this at some point, though. I don't think Stephanie should be able to throw on MCP. Nope, not a chance. She can't really do a whole lot, honestly. Oh, yes, she can. Damn it. <laughs> oh, no. I should have moved somewhere else. Unfortunate. Definitely unfortunate. And I actually it may have been a mistake here. It might have been a little bit of a mistake to go for protect. Although this guy actually can't kill Yurtle because he has bad compatibility with him. And with protect, he's not doing enough. And in fact, he'll just trigger HP restore. Oh, no, you hate to see that. What? Ah, oh, come on. With just a little bit of tweaking, though, this will definitely work. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to lose. I can tell you that for free. I'm definitely lost. Oh, yeah, we have lost 100%. Unless Regina's turn is now. No, she actually missed it. So the chances of us winning this are very slim. Very, very slim. And Melee Duel has concentrate. So even if I picked up Yurgil, she would definitely just kill him. With 10 speed, so it's a speed tie, she'll go first, which is the last thing we need. I guess maybe I shouldn't have went for Protect, huh? Yeah, we'll call that an L. I think. Probably. I I don't know. I guess the second best thing we can do is start trying to kill some of these guys. Not Kiyomori, Jesus. Heaven's Cloud. Because MCP is still going to come back, but we missed our potential song. We missed our song. That's a two-shot at least. So maybe, just maybe, what would the haste advantage? And I doubt Joanna can do much of anything significant here. No, they can't even break through auto potion. If it goes, uh-oh, well, never mind. Now we've lost for sure. <laughs> I was going to say we'd be fine because auto potion would restore all the damage they dealt, but not if they crit. And we also don't get auto potion either time. So we're, we're dead because of that. I'm pretty sure. Them's the brakes with RNG, unfortunately. And I want to say that Stephanie... Yeah, she can definitely kill me now because we never got a reaction, sadly. I guess I can face this way. Oh, MCP's back, but what difference does it make? Huh, maybe I could have played that differently in that case. But I, I was definitely not anticipating any of that. Certainly not. So, at this point, we can hope that MCP survives and starts drawing a bunch of... Uh, arrows back towards his way again. That would be our way here. It really just depends on who she kills. Looks like my G. Give me the 5 percent or dodge. I, I think I really deserved it after all of that, don't you? That seemed like a little bit kind of bullshit to me. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Was his brave like 74 though? <laughs> like real talk? Come on, my G. Not like that. Well, at least they're taking the bait. Oh no, target goes through reactions. Except for arrow guard. Oh, sweet. I actually didn't know that. So maybe they're just gonna shoot on MCP a whole bunch and fail to accomplish anything. Nope, they're gonna kill Regina. Now, had she survived, we might have been able to get another frog, which could have turned it around, I want to say. But I think something like this should get us through. It's just that we didn't have very good luck. We had awful luck, in fact. Yeah, we're done now. That's four down. Let's just take the L. Ah, the struggles of RNG games. I love it. I love it so. <laughs> that is one thing about tactics. Uh, 1.3 specifically, though, right? If you're an unlucky person, man, maybe, maybe not the game for you. <laughs> Honestly. Oh, no. We have worse compatibility with her on Regina. Despite her having amazing, amazing faith. Well, that just sucks. I wanted to frog her. I don't see that happening now. And it really just helps to even disable one of these guys, take him out of the fight permanently. But I I don't see it happening with the Pisces. At the very least, we're not getting popped by the 28th, so I'll say that. Swift, come try to kill me. Yes, 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 move over there. That's what we need. We need that. And we already saw the target can actually miss. Yeah, <laughs> I swear that that bypasses reactions, but I guess Arrow Guard supersedes that. Which is cool. Man, why are all the ninja ladies... Pisces, <laughs> that sucks. That definitely sucks, because if not for that, I could potentially get a four-way frog right there, depending on where the plague moves. 
I mean, obviously we can't frog Melee Duel. And she seems to be pretty content with heading on to the right-hand side, which is great. It couldn't be better, in fact. So, I'll definitely take that. <laughs> yeah, because I'd much rather push right. We can do the same thing we did, though. And since I'm not dead this time, we can actually throw out last song right now. And since, yeah, since nobody is dead, in fact, I should say. So you just hang out, Yurchul. This is still the best way. Why didn't I throw it on Yurchul? I mean, it doesn't make a huge difference because MCP is literally just here to draw their aggro, but... Extra haste is extra haste, man. Let's get a protect on Yurchul, though. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, okay, so we actually nailed that. And that's great because, again, we're going to send him at Melia Duel. ASAP. I, th I thought his name was Porker. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, wow. They said, please. Please, Deltre. I really want you to frog me. I really want you to get a four-way here. Please. It would just make my day, they said. Okay, if you insist. Wow, I can't believe how well that worked out. <laughs> I mean, yeah, granted. We have bad compatibility with some of them. Two of them, in fact, I think. Both the Ninja Girls. But 30 is 30. With that many of them, chances are we hit at least something. If we actually missed all four, that would just be unheard of. That would be atrocious luck at that point. We actually stole her sword right away. That's such a huge boon. Now I can just steal her salty rage. Actually, maybe I should have been trying to steal that first because my fear now is that she might run away. One frog. Let's see him. Two frogs. Oh, this is looking so good. Man, I was really kind of hoping it would hit three. That would have been... Oh, well, I, I take it all back. Good game. They can't clear it. <laughs> they can't clear it, man. They chose to rest on their laurels. They said, oh, don't you worry. We've got worse compatibility with Regina. She'll never hit us. She'll never be able to pull it off. Oh, no. Don't you doubt the power of Regina. That's right. <laughs> two frogs, two bad compatibilities. No big deal. No issue at all. Uh, something else about Arrow Guard, is, I guess, is that it still takes effect while you're charging. I think it's the only evasion that does, in fact. Quick, quick, cool. Oh, now I might actually be able to steal the dang uh, Salty Rage. Which is exactly what I'm going to try to do, in fact. Wow, I, I honest to God, I think fight over, though. No lie. I, re I really do. Because what can, what can Melio Duel possibly do to me now that she's disarmed? And since three of them are frogs, it's like, I can, I can honestly just steal a bunch of really good stuff at this point. I'm probably going to. Oh, yeah, an Ultimus bow, a Flash Hat? Oh, ooh. Yeah, why not? I've been waiting for a Flash Hat for a while, and those are just sweet. So, like, some Cursed Rings? These are actually not that bad. Despite the fact that you're undead, you actually can't crystallize or turn into a treasure if you have this equipped. So, even if you get knocked out... You're inevitably going to come back eventually. And it also gives one attack, one magic, and one speed, which is not bad. On top of being able to absorb darkness attacks. So I, I can see some... I can see some cheeky stuff with that, for sure. And also, it, being undead doesn't block re-raise either, so it still affects you just the same. It's not like you instantly die if you have re-raise or something like that. So it seems like a nice little item. Kind of gimmicky, but I'm sure it could work. We could get three of them right here if we wanted to. Yeah, actually, I'm going to steal from head on just for the simple fact that I would prefer Melia Duel to come to me. And I may just rob her blind. Does she have anything else that I even, would even want to steal, really? No, not really. I definitely want that Ultimus bow. I can't believe she nailed three. That's just incredible. <laughs> yeah, what can Melia Duel do? What can she even do to me? She can break my stats, I guess. Oh, 50 damage is actually somewhat respectable, but it's nowhere near enough, let's be honest. It's not even close to enough. I may even try to frog those two guys as well. I mean, why not? I can probably get a haste on Regina right now, thus making this pretty easy. Yeah, we just do that, and then she can actually... I'm pretty sure she can chase them down easily. And since... 
Yeah, wow. Well, I'm just gonna I'm gonna kite melee duel since we actually frog both the ninja girls. There's no reason for me to fear anything. Actually, <laughs> you can't die. He literally cannot die unless he gets hit by a 28. That was incredible. I was honestly counting on one, maybe two of them. And if that were the case, I'd be focusing much more heavily on killing Melia Duel right now. But we don't have to do that. And in fact, I'm going to try to steal this guy's sweet bow. Just so he can stop dealing so much damage to me, honestly. 48. Decent enough. Nah, we don't get it. I should probably be at least a little bit careful, though, because if Virgil dies up there, that can be very bad. Yeah. Something to think about, I guess. We'll wait for one turn. Oh, they're gonna start throwing out heartache strikes and other crap now. Ooh, that could be bad. As it is. Oh, no. Hmm. Please just shoot my bard. Please. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you. Hit Regina so I can frog those two dudes. Ah, well, we got my G, at which point I can have him uncharmed. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, that's perfect. Yeah, look at that. Nice try, game. Gotta wake up a little bit earlier than that to pull one over on old Eltre. And much like the other fights in this nature, you don't actually have to kill Melia Duel. You just need to drop her into super crit. So I'm gonna start throwing out Heaven's Clouds. It should do about 100-ish. Right? Yeah, 110. She has defense up in Aidly. I'm 99% confident. But that doesn't really matter at this point now, does it? A few of those and she's gonna die. Looks like three more and she'll probably run away. Now, where is my frog queen? I really want to go for another one of these frogs. The thing I'd have to look out for, though, I guess, would be watching the AI because they will definitely jump into a frog spell if they think they're gonna be able to unfrog themselves. So who is Susie? Is this you? Nah, we're living on the edge. I don't foresee that going wrong. I really don't. And if it does, so be it. I can, at the very least, move over here and either get one of these thief hats that they have or try to get this ultimate bow. Doesn't really matter. I'll go for the thief hat, I guess. We actually got it. Cool. So now he's a lot slower. And also, we got a second thief hat, which is always good. Can't buy those for a while, I think. Now, Susie's, like I said, she's going to jump into that frog, I guarantee. Because the AI is smart enough to do that. Oh, no. Not the fiber. I mean, the chances of it nailing her in neither of the archers, though, is pretty slow. Uh, pretty low, I mean. God. Speaking of slow, these animations. It causes so much slowdown. It's kind of funny. Please don't hit Susie. We hit the frog. Uh, we hit the archer. Don't hit Susie, though. She had like a 30% to be hit the first time. Yeah. <laughs> so now there's four of these guys. And I guess I could steal the bow from the other guy. And at that point, I can just do whatever I want, honestly. <laughs> Talk about controlling a map, though. Wow. Really good one, MCP. Oh, yeah. Wow. Nice. <laughs> oh, he has dialogue. I don't know if I've ever seen this. Usually, you would just kill Melia Duel instantly. If, like, if you couldn't stick it out. And I feel like that's probably what I normally do. So this is news to me. Wait, is loot. I didn't kill him. Do you know what happened at Riavanis? That wasn't the doing of any human. Is loot was killed by Lukavi. Lukavi. Lukavi appeared and killed my brother. Ha ha ha. That's pretty wild. Can't you come up with a better lie than that? You're the same as Islu. You don't know the truth. You don't realize you're just pathetic puppets. Dancing for the bad guys. That's how you win somebody over, my G. Yeah, call them pathetic. The stones aren't just objects of faith, but have power to work miracles. That power is different for each side, but they're using it for evil. Wake up, Melia Duel. Yeah, wake up, sheeple. The church is deceiving you. <laughs> I feel like statements like that will get me demonetized. I'm talking about Final Fantasy, Susan. Come on. You expect me to believe that? Ridiculous. Vormav is our father. Oh. Well, shit. Yeah. Oh, did the game not explicitly state that by this point? Because I feel like I've been saying that he's their dad a lot. Uh, yeah, spoiler alert, I guess Vormap is both Melia Duel and his loot's father. So there you go. Pretty sure this is a new song as well. Oh yeah, you didn't think we were done with new music just because we were four acts into the game, right? I hope not. 
because you would be wrong. I mean, honestly, just for my own amusement, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> oh, come on! That was literally the one way that I could have to be in a little bit of a hurry here. Are you kidding me, game? Yes! <laughs> Beautiful! That's, that's amazing! Who needs damage when you can just do this? How mad do you think Melia Duel is right now? Oh, come on, these are my most elite hand-picked soldiers and you turned them all into frog. That's bullshit! No, Melia Duel. That's the power of sages. I told you guys sages were good. But nobody believed me. Laughed they did! But now who's laughing? Now who's laughing? God damn it, MCP. <laughs> Your singing sucks. You're so out of tune. I'm sorry, man. I'm doing my best. Okay, so I'm honestly just gonna revive Virtual and then, uh... Pick these guys clean, I think. I mean, why not? By the way, Frog doesn't wear off in case he thought it did. Nope, that's forever. Unless it is explicitly cured by a spell or an item, it sticks. For good. Oh, shoot. I missed what she said. Our plans may be violent, but reform requires pain. If there's no pain, there's no true reform. A baby like you who can't even deal with your own fate can never change the world. Don't call me a baby. Jeez. My G has come so far. He's fun that booty and those chaps, man. My G in the butt pants. As the fanbase so affectionately calls them. Oh yeah, I also switched to Life Song just so that there's literally no chance I lose. Why does he heal for se what? 67 per go? Oh my god, Life Song is actually broken. What? I beg you, please trust me. I didn't kill your brother. I'm not the one who wants... I'm not the one you want to fight. Lukavi exists. Your father is no longer human. He's a devil possessed by Lukavi. Cut it out, my G. <laughs> How can you trust me? You can stop by telling me your real name. It is my G, I swear it. No, 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 Ramza. Nobody's buying your shit. Can we talk about how Life Song, honest to God, heals like a quarter of my health, though, every time? Just real quick. That is hitting everybody, by the way. Just let's be clear about that. That's 100% hitting every character that I have. So how good is Angel Song, then? 17... 37? What? Oh my god, bards are broken? <laughs> wow. Wow. I never would have predicted it being that good, no lie. I honestly thought it would be way worse. Way worse. It's like three times as good as the dancer's version. That's insane. Okay, so no lie, I might have a problem, guys. I think I, I stole just about everything on this map. Just about everything. She has nothing. Susie, poor Susie. Oh my god, she got it the worst. I'm not even sure what I'm going to be doing with most of this stuff, but I wanted it because I could. So at this point, I could have a team full of marksmen if I really wanted to. I got some new knives for Yurgil. I got the black clothes, which have an insanely high amount of HP for this point, and we can't buy them yet, so like, I don't know what else to say about that really, other than that could be pretty useful, I suppose. You know, it's got like 30 or so HP over the earth clothes. And I honestly feel like that kill was Yurgil's. Oh, she's not, oh, do you actually have to defeat her? Huh, how about that? A mission where it tells you to defeat the boss, that you actually have to defeat them. I guess he's just not low enough. I feel like it's Yurgil's skill though. He like he cleaned this entire battlefield out. Although if anything, it should be Regina Frog Queen herself. I can't believe how good she is. I can't believe how good she is. <laughs> like that just totally changed this fight, did it not? This was totally different if I didn't have Frog. Such a good spell. Wow, they're actually charging me now that Melia Duel is low. Yeah, I've just realized they're trying to protect her, aren't they? <laughs> Maybe Melia Duel is the frog queen. Alright, it's been a lot of fun, Melia Duel. Really, it has? <laughs> Goodbye. That could have been way worse, I think. Without a doubt, man. Ah, oh, you're so strong. No wonder we Graf lost. I guess it's true what they say. It's not easy being green. Listen, <laughs> there's a frog joke for you. Listen, the next time we meet is the day you die. Remember that. I can't even begin to tell you how many times I've heard that one. 
but we win. Nice. Nice. I like Melee and Duel, though. I like both Melee and Duel and Ease Loot, really. They're just kind of misguided. That's the big thing about both of their characters, right? They're not necessarily bad people, but they're just working for the wrong team. And Melee and Duel especially makes perfect sense as to why she'd be so upset. After all, her brother is dead. And really the only explanation we were able to offer is that it was some kind of mythological demon. So of course she'd be mad, and of course she would have beef with us specifically, right? Not a very good excuse. Really, it's not. Flash ad for you, for sure. Probably flash ad for my G as well. Look at that, so much more HP. So much more HP. Yeah, we're gonna be losing one point of speed, but... God. One of the best hats in the game, for sure. Without a doubt. And if I really wanted to, I could just do the black costume. And they absorb fire, which is cool, because you can use that in combination with... Uh, fire attacks, like draw out with a Shura. The Shura knife is fire based. So if you gave your whole team fire absorption, you could do this cheeky thing where you like heal yourself while also dealing damage. It's pretty neat. It certainly is. Finath River is next. Oh no, we're done here. <laughs> we're one and done for sure. Yeah, you, you couldn't pay me enough to play that map. Oh, at least there's a billion propositions here. I might want to get Arrow Guard on more people. Anyhow, that's going to do it for me. So. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this one. I know Regina certainly did. And if you did, feel free to leave a like where it helps me out. Let me know your thoughts as well, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. See you then. Peace. Fine after River, crazy as hell. Crazy as hell. Trust me. Just trust me on this.